Late last year, scientists conducted an experiment to observe the feeding and decay processes of animal corpses that descend to the bottom of the sea. These kinds of things are really important to study if we are to understand deep sea ecology and the relationship of floor dwelling animals with the detritus and marine snow that regularly falls on them. The experimental twist here is that the study used freshwater animals as the food and dropped them into a saltwater environment to see how the native creatures would react. So the scientists who were doing this experiment strapped some weights around the bodies of three dead alligators, of the species Alligator mississippiensis. And then they dropped these three tied up weighted alligators to the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico, where they landed about two kilometers below the surface. Now, one alligator corpse was almost immediately ripped out of its harness by some kind of predator, like a shark, and the body was lost. The other two alligators were rapidly picked apart and eaten by the deep sea creatures, who honestly can't really afford to skip a meal. Edible and nutritious biomass is rare on the ocean floor, so when a whale carcass, or in this case an alligator carcass, sinks down to the bottom, these animals will jump on it and feast. Beggars can't be choosers. Clifton Nunnally of the Louisiana University's Marine Consortium was a co-author of the study, and he said, quote, The deep ocean is a food desert, sprinkled with food oases. Some of these oases are vents in the ocean floor where chemicals come out, or food falling from the ocean surface, unquote. Now, this experiment was really interesting for several reasons. The researchers thought that these deep sea creatures might struggle to break through the tough scales and the hide of the alligators, but they soon learned that the animals had no problem at all doing that. Crustaceans and scavenging fish were able to easily dig their way through the hide to reach the softer meat within. Some of the most active participants were large isopods of the species Bathonomus giganteus. Also, when the researchers came back after more than seven weeks, they saw that one of the remaining alligators had been entirely picked clean. No meat remained at all, only the bones. But the bones, it seemed, were covered in a strange brown fuzz. Upon closer inspection, this brown fuzz was actually a feverishly hungry colony of worms. This bone-eating worm species is new to science, so this is a new discovery. The newly discovered worm species belongs to the Ocidax genus, which adds another layer of discovery, as this is the first time that any species from the Ocidax genus has been found in the Gulf of Mexico. All right, so there you go. A cool new discovery of bone-eating worms in the dark depths of the Gulf of Mexico. Now that we know these things exist, we can try to study them specifically in greater detail to learn about their rate of consumption the chemicals they use to break down animal bone, their metabolism, and all that fun stuff. This is the wonderful process of discovery that you can really just dive into when you start looking at all these weird biological phenomena. I love it. It's awesome.